Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's 12 days of demo series entry. So, today we have got official UK PlayStation magazine best games ever, SCED 02851. Uh, if you're wondering where the PS2 Gravity Sucks demo was, unfortunately I do have some bad news regarding that. Um, I attempted to uh, boot up the demo on um, the PS3, but it came up with a message saying uh, that it didn't support the disc, which is uh, absolutely great. Um, there's more but details on that regarding that, well, regarding all of it in a community post on my channel. And uh, this is basically the replacement demo disc for it. Um, so, uh, yeah. So this is uh, a demo disc that apparently has the best games ever on it, according to official UK PlayStation magazine. Five playable demos. Uh, so uh, let's see what we've got. So we've got Grand Series Mode 2, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, Metal Gear Solid, FIFA 2000, Driver, Wipeout 3 video, okay. Final Fantasy 8 video, Crash Bandicoot 3 video, and we're back with Gran Turismo. Alright, well, let's see, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pieces of content. Okay. Alright, well, let's get started, Gran Turismo 2. Yeah, sorry if you guys were looking forward to the Gravity Sucks demo. Um, obviously, there's only two playable content on it anyway. But the fact of the matter is it had Wipeout Fusion on it and another skateboarding game, I think it was. Uh, something called Airblade or something along the lines. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't support my PS3, um, which sucks. Because, you know, I used the PS3 to emulate the uh, PS2 games. I got one of the old fat ones. Um, which sucks because I was looking forward to doing that demo disc. And it also does mean as well that we're not going to be able to do any demo discs or PS2 demo discs on the PS3. Which means we'll never be able to do any of the PS2 Euro demos. So, absolutely bullshit, but yeah. It's a shame. So yeah, really sorry about that, guys. But, I hope you guys enjoy this demo nonetheless. Because um, at least it's some form of replacement, isn't it? It could be worse. We could have had no demo disc at all, and... Uh, yeah, it would have ruined the whole series, wouldn't it? So, you know. And I'll see it's a demo disc that we haven't played before, so... Uh, you know, and I'll see... I think I have one more demo disc um, as well that... Um, I have yet to play for, I can't remember what one it was called though. And then the rest of them are mainly just like single game demo discs, like the Silent Hill and Unholy War I think I had. Um, so, yeah, I can't remember which disc I have to dig it out. Um, well, maybe I actually missed this demo disc, it was just sitting there on my shelf. So, oh, okay, I've got a replacement demo disc, that's good. Um, obviously, I saw the message about the PS3 <laughs> not supporting the demo disc. Sucks. Oh, we actually won. <laughs> cool. Now we don't need to see a replay. I'm going to start select. Okay. And that was Gran Turismo 2. And next up, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, which I believe is Tomb Raider 4? 
if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. Yeah, it's, no, it's got to be, isn't it? Because um, Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, and then Tomb Raider The Last Revolution. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be. If I'm mistaken, let me know, but either way, Tomb Raider, here we go. Oh, question, this is an analogue. No, it's not. Oh dear. Okay. Right. If I remember last time, do you remember I got stuck in that... Hang on, why am I... Angry? Okay. Do you remember last time I got stuck in this box? I don't really want to, like, jump through that again, just in case. Wait, that's something else. Yeah. I really don't want to jump through that just in case. Well, where do we go from here? Um, so we're in this room here. I don't want to jump down just in case. Oh, there is something down there. Oh Christ. <gasps> yeah, I forgot you got to hold X, haven't you? <clears throat> I'm curious what the Wipeout Free video is all about. Something interesting, I might share it with the Wipeout community. Shit, I can't go back. <gasps> Let's go back up.
Okay, so you jump from here. Then you're stuck, aren't you? Yeah, I'm now stuck. I knew it because... It... Wow. Yeah, no, you're actually, I'm stuck in here now. So, where are you actually supposed to go from here then? Because I'll see, you open up the door, you go through the thing, and then you get to here, and then there's no doorway through. And you can't go exactly go through here, can you? Um, I'm going to start select, I guess. Oh, no, hang on. How do I quit? Okay, well, I guess I've got to start select, and not start select, a reset. But, yeah, I, I don't know. With that game, I'm not really t exactly 100% sure where you're supposed to go. It's kind of like self explanatory of the other Tomb Raiders, but with that one, it seems like you, like you go through a door and then you get stuck. There's probably something I've missed, and I don't know what. I'm sure someone will point it out to me, but. I don't know. Alright, next up is Metal Gear Solid. We know how long this game is. This is probably going to take at least half an hour. Oh, oh okay. Straight to the menu. Fair enough. Not sure if it's something I pressed. Or not. Oh no. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm 
I'm in plain sight there. How do you not see me? Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Bloody hell. What are the chances of him coming around the corner to see me there?
It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. 
It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. I spent a lot of there time not doing much. Of pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. We're right, playing now. Surveillance camera? <laughs> that base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake! Hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Okay, we're in the air duct. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief.
press the action button to drop down. Might as well get that ration. Okay, I guess we're not getting that. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down <clears> somewhere <throat> around there. Try to find it. Damn it. Use the elevator. elevator to move from floor to floor. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. The elevator should show up in no time. Chief, he's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Will do. Oh. 
Ooh. I'll tell you what, I've got a lot of wisdom suit pain at the minute, which is why I'm not talking too much, because it bloody fucking hurts. I'm kind of lucky it's not impacting, but... Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I mean, I'm kind of in first person. You know. Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. 
If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? And that is the end of the demo. Uh, we're going to start select because, as we know, that's the end of the demo. So we'll go back and move on. Half an hour plus. I knew it would. Such a long demo. Right, next up is FIFA 2000. This will be short. Kickoff approaching here then, so here's John Watson with Mark Lawrence. Thanks, Gary. No time for a pre-match chat here. Bayern Munich versus Manchester. We play as. Oh, kept out by the keeper. Guess what, man? Down off the chest. York. Beckham. He should have had him there. Oh. Yanka. Basler. Basler. Beckham. Well oh. intercepted. 
Jonsson. I heard York. there's a football special demo as well. Do you reckon I should do that for the Euro 2024 Ross. tournament? Basler. That's a special. <laughs> this is one of the worst genres. A right like skill on the ball. Games, for me personally. Pressure on then. Oh, Scores God. then. The keeper not able to stop it. Another look at the goal then. And the score 1 0. Has a stop by the keeper. He did very well there. Great stop. Cleared up field. Yeah, no, I was looking at uh, the football special of this. The cross Imagine doing that for your hands. And um, doing that as a special for, as I said, football is one of my, Outside, least, given. One of my least favourite genres of uh, game. Johnson. Johnson. Given away. Given away. Has a go. Hit long up the field, Ben. They've given it away. Oh. Cole. The keeper gathers the loose ball. Good pass. Oh. Keen. Over the bar. Oh, the three shots and oh, three shots. Chested down. Oh, no. Possession lost. York. Offside. Given. Oh, what? How is that offside? Exactly. Basler. Oh, great skill on the ball. Down off the chest. Cole. Cole. York. Given away. He's a zoo. <laughs> Keen. That's from too far out to bother the keeper. Cleared up the pitch. Somebody call an ambulance. That was a horrible tackle. Small call an ambulance. Good long ball. Basler. No. She stopped him. Great attempt. Key. Just the one goal separates them at the whistle. I think that's going to be it. Usually only ever get to play one. Yeah. I think there's one more playable demo. Pretty sure that was Driver, I think. Damn, we're 15 minutes in already. Wow. All right, next up, yep, it was Driver. And then we're on to the videos. I think, yeah, the video's gonna be about one hour, I reckon. And then autumn Christmas releases come straight after this. Pretty cool. <laughs> right in time. I figure they'll do autumn Christmas releases right close to Christmas. And then winter releases should really be the last one. as the best demo disc in the list.
a game by reflections. Driver. Well, this looks different to the demos we played. Oh, no, maybe not. Playable demo mission. That was easy. <laughs> I win! Yeah! Did it just take me back to the main menu? Yeah, it does. Oh, wait. Oh, start select works. What does it? Oh, wait, no, I stand corrected. It's froze! <laughs> it froze the PlayStation. Awesome. Don't press start select on that demo. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, back in the mo, peeps. Right, we're back. Uh, done a refresh. Um, returning to the main menu now. Uh, not sure why it froze there, but there you go. Um, Right, moving on. So, let's see what we got. I think it's videos now, anyway. So, our driver was Wipeout Free video. I'm curious about this one. So, I'm going to watch this one in silence and see what this is all about. Oh, I might be the intro video.
Okay, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just the intro video at first, but... Come on. Also, did you notice that the rockets were free in there? Like, the game, like when you fired rockets, it, there was three rockets instead of two. How interesting is that? Well, there you go. Uh, right, Final Fantasy VIII video. I think Twitter are gonna like that one. <laughs> Might be worth a little share later on. Don't mind if I do. It's amazing what you find, isn't it? Anyway, moving on. Okay, moving on. What was next? Crash Bandicoot 3 video, and that's what's next. Final thing on the disc, Crash Bandicoot 3 video. What could this be? I think I have an idea. Yeah, I recognize this video.
Okay, and that is it for this demo disc. Uh, that was official UK PlayStation Magazine Best Games Ever SEED 02851. Uh, it's not a bad demo disc, so, you know, but obviously everyone has different opinions when it comes to best games ever. But obviously, clearly, this is the opinion of uh, the PlayStation Magazine. Although, I really do like that Wipeout 3 video. Um, I know it's just an advertisement video, but seeing things in it that is, like, different is just, you know, it's really, really cool. So, and I'm sure people will definitely want to see that. And, you know, huge of good playthrough, so, you know, it's quite good. So, uh, yeah, I'm satisfied. Uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Sorry if you guys wanted to see uh, Gravity Sucks demo, as I said earlier. But, yeah, it couldn't be helped, I'm afraid. Um, I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, next up tomorrow is uh, the penultimate one in the series, which is an autumn Christmas release, it's 1996. And then on Christmas Eve, you'll get winter releases, 98. And uh, that's going to be a long ass demo. Um, so I think it's going to clock in near two hours. So, um, yeah. I guess we'll find that when I play through it very, very soon. So, uh, yeah. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night. Take care.